Hi digital makers from all over the world and thank you for joining us for another digital making at home from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. My name is Mark and this is my son Jimmy. Hello. And this week is Ocean's Day so we thought we'd make our theme out at sea and we're going to be doing some scratch projects based around water and sea and swimming. And what Jimmy and I are going to be doing is making a project where you get the little scratch cat to do a synchronised swimming routine with a few of his buddies. As always, you can follow along on the project site and go step by step through the project. You can come along and just follow with us on the video or you can do a mix and match. I know some users out there, some learners, they like to watch us do it on, on the video and then pause it and have a look at the steps on the project site. So we're going to try and cater for them as well. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a web browser. So I'll just open up my web browser here and then Jimmy's going to take control. Now we'll go to the project site and the way to get to it is rpf.io forward slash dm hyphen swimming and hit enter and this is the project we're going to do now this music is very loud on this project so i'm just going to try and turn down my speakers a little bit and then jimmy if you click the green flag So what you can do is you've got that little scratch cat and he will move around and all his buddies will move in a synchronized way with some music playing and it's all controlled by the cursor keys. And we're gonna add in some extras as well. We're gonna add in some routines so you can press certain keys to make him do different stuff. Right, so what we need to get started on this project is we need to go to a blank scratch project. So if you want to go to scratch.mit.edu, that's scratch.mit.edu, to get to Scratch. If you don't have an account, then please do create a Scratch account. Um, Jimmy's logged in, there's his username, Jimothy Bobbington. And um, what you can do then is you can click on the Create, and that will take us to our brand new blank Scratch project. Now, the first thing I want you to do, Jimmy, is I want a background that is more like water colored. So we want to change the backdrop. So what are you gonna do? So I'll go over to Stage, and I'll um, select Backdrops here. And on the top left, uh, we can go to this modal tab that says backdrops. And we're going to grab a paint bucket. Now we're going to make this water coloured. So I want it to all fill up in blue. So we're going to grab a paint bucket. And we're going to set fill to. And we're going to choose a nice blue colour. So I think that's good. And now you could. Oh, you can't actually just fill it straight away. You have to convert it to bitmap first. And now there we go. We can fill it in. Just like that. Brilliant. Right. Now, I don't want that version of the Scratch Cat that you've got there. Yeah. Okay. So, can you get rid of that sprite? So, we'll delete him. And then go get the other version of the Scratch Cat, the one that looks like he's flying. So, there's... Yep, oh, there we go. Cat flying. Brilliant. So, that's the one I want. Now, what we're going to do to that cat is um, I want it so when I press the left arrow key, he turns left. And when I press the right arrow key, he turns right. So at the left here, we can go over to the events panel and we're going to grab two when key pressed. So how did you, just just so everyone knows, just get rid of that. What did you do in order to duplicate that? So I right clicked it and I just hit duplicate. Okay, brilliant. I use my right mouse button, not my left. Right, we're just going to change space to right on one of them and left on the other. Cool. Now we can go into motion and we have these two turn 15 degrees blocks. Um, and one arrow is pointing to the left and the other is pointing to the right. So we're just going to put the left turn left one onto the one left arrow key pressed and the right on the other one. Cool. So should we demonstrate what that does to the cat now? Yep. So Jimmy's holding the left key at the moment and then he can hold the right key. Oh, sorry, other way around. But... Yeah. But there this left key and then right key. Brilliant. Um, and now what I'd like to do is I would like, when I press the up key, I'd like him to move forward. When I press the down key, I'd like him to move backwards. So I'd just like to change the number of move steps for, um, for up and down. So I'll grab another two when key pressed. I'll set one to up arrow and I'll set the other one to down arrow. <clears throat> and now I'm going to motion here. 
I'll grab a move 10 steps and I'll grab another move 10 steps, but I'll set the down arrow one to move minus 10 well, I, steps. No, it's fine. it's fine on the 10 steps because it's going to be point, It's moving in whatever direction it's pointing, isn't it? Because we're not changing X and Y coordinates this time. We're just moving in the direction that you're pointing. Yeah. So I'm using steps. Oh no, you're right. I'm wrong. I'll shut up. I should just let Jimmy do, do all of this. No, you're absolutely correct. Yeah. So now when I press our up arrow and the down arrow, he can move forwards and backwards. I can turn him. I can send him in different directions. Brilliant. Okay then. Um, so that's step one of the project completed. So if you're following with us on the project site, um, that's the whole, um, the, the first main step of the project. We're now going to move on to step two. Okay, so what I would like to do now is I would like to, um, when the green flag's clicked, I would like to duplicate that sprite. So to get the when green flag clicked, we can go to events and grab the blog that says when green flag clicked. And I'll zoom in so that everyone can see my code a bit actually, easier. Actually, before we get there, I've just had a thought. Let's um, go back, just click on the sprite and then click on the costumes. Let's make it so that, because we've got two costumes there, yeah? Yeah. Let's make it when he's, when we're telling him to go left, he's facing left. And when we're telling him to go right, he's facing right. So if you get rid of that bottom costume, that's it. And then duplicate that costume. So right click and a duplicate. And then on that costume, flip it. So it's... Um... So I need to convert it to bitmap again. We'll lose, it. We'll lose our quality. No, I need to convert it to vector. Yeah, I think you were fine. Where's our flip buttons? It should be here, but it's not. No, they're normally there, aren't they? Just get get rid of that again. Duplicate again. And then maybe select everything. Control Z that, and then Control A. Ah, there, there we, we go. go. And we're going right. to flip. We better explain to everyone what we just did. Yeah. Though. So let's just start again. Just get rid of that. Get rid of the sprite again. So right click and duplicate. Duplicate. And then what Jimmy's going to do, you could either use the arrow selection tool to select everything, or you can press control A on your keyboard and that will select everything. So control on the A key, and then he's going to flip horizontal. So do that and then flip horizontal. Brilliant. And so um, the top one is him facing Right, so, so we'll put right, we'll re rename it, we'll rename it to right, and that one's facing left, and we'll rename that one to left. Cool, and then in our code, we can now switch costumes. So when you press the right arrow key, we switch to costume right. Yes, right. so do you want to explain to everyone how you so do that? So we'll go into looks and we'll grab a switch costume left, and I'll just duplicate that, but I'll change this bottom one to right, and we'll say when right arrow pressed switch costume to right. And the same for the left, but we're switching the costume to left. And now, when we attempt to make it work, there we go. Brilliant. So, be That's looking, it. yeah. Right, so that's step two completed. Um, now we'll go on to step three, onto the third step. So, when you see you've been playing around with your scratch cut, yeah? he's moved all over the screen a little bit, hasn't he? So, yeah. really, we want to make sure that gets reset every single time we start the game. So how are we going to get him to a you know a central position on the screen and facing in a single direction each time we start playing this? So we'll grab a when green we'll grab a when green flag clicked. Yeah. And we'll go into our motion here and we'll say go to and we'll just set that to zero zero. Cool. And then I want him to point in a set direction, like point ninety degrees for now, let's say that. And then in motion again it will be point uh in direction and we'll set that to minus to uh, 30 sorry to zero uh, to 180 apparently and now he should be facing upwards there we go cool okay then there we go all right so then the next thing i want to do is at the moment he's swimming all on his own yeah yeah so at the moment um he's on his own it's not really a synchronized swimming thing you've lost him on the screen haven't you yeah <laughs> um so I want to create, say, six duplicates of, of the cat. So how can I create six so copies? So in when green flag clicked, we're going to scroll down to control, 
and we'll grab a create clone of myself and all we're going to do is we're going to go into events and we're going to grab a repeat is that an event so we're going to go down to control and we're going to grab a repeat and we'll set that to six okay now click the green flag now at the moment that doesn't look like i've got any clones why no. is that because they're all connected to the one scratch cap there so you can see brilliant so let's make instead just before he creates a clone of himself yeah yeah let's make it turn like 60 degrees or something yeah yeah so have a go at that so just before it creates a clone have it turn 60 degrees so each clone is at a slightly different angle okay so we'll have we'll go into so in this uh create clone of myself, start, yeah that's it we're gonna go to motion and we'll grab a turn 15 degrees and we'll set that to 60 degrees and now when this begins, there we go. We have all our different scratch cats. And there it is. Brilliant. We have here our synchronized swimmers. Absolutely excellent. Right then, so let's um, add some annoying music. <laughs> so, let's go into sounds. Let's go down here to the bottom and hit choose a sound. Cool. And... Now the best ones, I suppose, are loops because they yeah. play continuously. One. Can we just turn my volume down? Just go yeah. down to the bottom. So we can go down here to the bottom yeah. and we'll turn that down. A bit louder. Should we just pick that one? Obviously, you guys at home can pick any sound that you want that you think is appropriate for um, synchronized swimmers. So, Jimmy, I'm, I'm not bothered. You choose a sound and just add it. Alright, we'll do video game. Video game music, I think. Cool. No video game one. And I'll make it a tiny bit softer. There we go, so now it's a bit quieter. You can make that as quiet or as loud as you want. Uh, there we go, that's, that's nicer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go here, we're going to go into, on our wing green flag clicked, we can grab in a... Uh, we want it to play over and over and over again, don't forget. Yeah, so we're going to grab a forever loop. And then we can go into sounds, and inside that forever loop we'll say... Play sound video game one or whatever your music's called until done. And now we have some music that plays whilst we have our synchronous swimmers going. There we go. Excellent. Alright. Okay, so um, we're going to add a couple more things. Can you just stop it so the music stops? All right. So um, our last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a routine. Yeah. So synchronized swimmers, they practice and they have a set routine of things that they do. So we're going to add that into our project, yeah? So all that's going to involve, and we can choose whatever steps we want. We can choose however, whatever we want them to do. And we can just try out some different stuff. But like when I hit the space key, I want the scratch cut to like rotate a little bit maybe, and then move a little bit, and then rotate in another direction, and then move in another direction, and then rotate in another direction, and move in another direction, yeah? For so instance. to do that, I'll grab another one key pressed. So Jimmy's again doing it by duplicating rather than going to the menu and grabbing them out. And I'll make it a space key. And all I'm going to say is I'll go into motion, I'll say move 10 steps, go down here to, con uh, to event, to control, probably repeat that 10 times, moves 100 steps. And then I'll go into motion here, say turn i put that inside the repeat loop 70 degrees here yeah i put it inside otherwise otherwise it's just going to move right off screen and then turn 70 degrees isn't it okay yeah so, and just so reduce the number of steps let's just let's just turn that to three repeat three times or something you go three steps i mean i mean the repeat oh now. oh the repeat that's so it that'll be Good. three that'll be 10 and then i'll make him turn 50 degrees right let's see what that looks like yeah Okay. So maybe we should move a bit further? Yeah, so we'll change that 10 steps to around 20. Try that out. Yeah. A bit more? I mean, yeah. I'll tell you what you can do. You can start it. You can move him around. 
yourself and then press the space key. And then it starts doing all kinds of weird stuff. Cool. All right, stop it again. All right. Let's add one more routine in. Let's do something a little bit different for an, another routine. So, so I'll duplicate that, change that to... Any key you want. Change it to C, so there we go. And I'll say move 30 steps, turn 60 degrees. We get a colour change in there as well. And I'll go into looks here. I'll grab the change colour effect by 25. And now, move again. So I can get them to do that and then I can use C and they'll become rainbow. Excellent. That's brilliant. Thank you very much, Jim. Yeah. You can stop the annoying music now. <laughs> and then, um, obviously, you can do all kinds of routines. So you've got lots of keys on your keyboard that you can press. You could do different graphical effects. You can do different motions, make them spin all over the place. It's really up to you what you want. You could even have a play around with some like random operators, couldn't they? So it moves a random number of steps and, and, and things like that. Although I'm not sure how synchronised that would be. <laughs> right then. That's brilliant. So, Jimmy, um, you have created your project. I would like you to share it with everyone else. Do you want to give it a name? So, I'll call it Synchronised Swimming. I don't think I could have spelled that first time. <laughs> synchronised. So, I go Synchronised Swimming and I'll share that. Cool. Take me to the uh, product page. I can use, type in some instructions. So, I'll just say use the arrow. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Good. Arrow keys, arrow, just do arrow keys to move the swimmer or something like arrow that. Arrow keys to move swimmer, C and space for... Routines. Routines. Brilliant. And then in notes and credits, I will say just RPF. Oh, RPF. Go on and copy that link. So I can now copy link. There we go. So Jimmy's copied the link to his Scratch project. And now what he's going to go do is he's going to open a new tab. And go to rpf.io forward slash home. There you go. Excellent. And then over on the right, you see that share your project? Share your project, yeah. Click and that now. Can click on share project and he can type in his name. Uh, so I'm from England. Capital E, please. Uh, Just put in my email address, Mark. Raspberry Pi door. And guys, if you're under 13, please use a parent's email address for this. And uh, then mark it Raspberry Pi again. Okay. And then I want to share what I've made. There we go. And my project is synchronized swimmers. Um, Just watch the cats swim um, you, don't have to, you don't have to fill in all of these okay then would you like to share a photo or screenshot of your project do you have a project link to share and where it just says do you have a project link to share that's where Jimmy's going to paste his project if you don't want to do that and you just want to take a screen capture you could say you'd like to share a photo of it um, and then um, do you have you have my pet you have my okay, permission then, to yes. share it on social media so that's fine and then the last one that I agree and then you can click send and that will send your project over to us so we can have a look at all the cool work you guys have done. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Jimmy, for helping me out again today. Um, always, always rely on your expertise with the Scratch platform. So that's absolutely fantastic. And we shall see you all next week for more Digital Making a Home from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So thank you very much, everyone. And bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.